So I am following a lot of you guys on Snapchat and I get to click through there and look at your daily lives. And I think it's pretty cool because I feel a little bit closer to you guys. Does that sound creepy? That sounds a little bit creepy, doesn't it? Hey guys, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my MAC lipstick collection, which you guys know I've been swatching all of my lipstick collections. I've already done YSL, Tom Ford, a few drugstore brands. So today I'm going to be sharing MAC since you guys have been requesting this for so long, but I thought I'd take it a step further and include some drugstore dupes since I have been trying a ton of drugstore drugs. <laughs> I have been trying a ton of drugstore products for the past year. Also, check the info box if you miss any of the names or if I go a little bit too fast. I will have all of those listed down below. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first color I have is called Patisserie and this is a luster finish. I love these luster finishes because they're uh, they're very moisturizing. They do have a bit of a shine and I find that this one by L'Oreal called Jennifer's Nude is Actually an exact dupe once applied and I know in the tube it looks a little bit different But once you actually put it on your lips, you really can't tell the difference Next I have Hug Me which is also a luster finish and this one has more of a brownish tint to it And I find that another L'Oreal is a perfect match for it and this is called Eva's Nude And much like the other one in the tube you can't see the slight difference but once applied you really can't tell them apart This next one is called Honey Love and this is a matte finish and it is probably my most nude lipstick that I owned from MAC and I find that Ferris Nude from L'Oreal is a really great match for it. Ferris Nude does have a little bit of a sheen to it but it's not that noticeable when you apply it. I do find that both of these colors do look better on me with a lip liner or mixed with a lip gloss. Next is this color Modesty and it's my perfect nude. It is a cream sheen finish so it does have a little bit of a shine to it and I find that another Jordana lipstick is a perfect dupe for it. It's called Matte Blush. The only difference is the finish. The Jordana one is going to be completely matte and the Modesty is going to have a little bit of a sheen to it. This next lipstick is called Twig and it's a satin finish. I found a Maybelline matte lipstick that matches it perfectly. It's called Touch of Spice and as you can tell, Touch of Spice is just a slight bit darker. The difference is so minimal that you can totally get away with the Maybelline one instead of the MAC one. Next is this beautiful berry color. It's called Girl About Town. And I find that another Maybelline matte lipstick called Mesmerizing Magneta matches it perfectly with the exception of the finish. But again, whenever you have a glossy finish or vice versa, you can always blot it to get that matte finish or add a little bit of lip balm to get that shine. This lipstick is a matte formula and it's called Fashion Revival. It's this deeper berry color. For a dupe, I found another Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in the color Matte Dare. And as you can see, the colors are so similar. The MAC one is a little bit brighter, but if you're looking for that beautiful deep berry lipstick, then I think this Jordana one is a really good alternative. And I hear that they're only a dollar at the dollar store, so you really can't beat that. This last color is called Diva, and it's a matte formula. And I found a cheaper alternative also from the Maybelline Matte Collection and this one is called Divine Wine. Divine Wine is slightly redder than Diva is, but they give you the same effect. So if you're going for that really bold wine lip, then I definitely recommend this one to you. So in case you're wondering what lipstick I'm wearing right now, which has nothing to do with this video, but since I was playing with drugstore makeup, I came across an old favorite, um, Talia by NYX Cosmetics, and I think this is like the perfect springy uh, peachy pink color. It's just so beautiful. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found some dupes or maybe you already have some of these in your collection and you thought you needed the MAC lipsticks, but now you don't. You can click the subscribe button that's right above my head. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I put out new videos every single week. You can click on this video up here and it will take you to my most recent video. You can check out my Get Ready With Me Date Night Edition or you can click on the video right underneath that and that's gonna take you to a more related video to this one. So my last lipstick swatch collection video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah. Bye.